Until now, we discussed on how to use the various actions of a VBO from the Process Studio. Now let's see how to create a VBO and the actions for an application so that we can use them in the Process Studio. For this example, we will use the default calculator application that comes with Windows. To create a VBO, I'll go to Studio, right click on Objects, click Create Object and I'll get this new business object window. Here we need to name our business object. We'll name it as calculator and click next. Then enter a description and click finish. Now double click calculator and you will get the object studio. You can see that the object studio looks very similar to the process studio. Let's open the process studio once and compare the differences. The first difference you will notice is the title bar of the two windows. Here it says Object Studio and here it says Process Studio. Then if you look at the toolbox on the left hand side, the Object Studio has five extra stages which are Read, Write, Navigate, Code and Wait. Next if you look at the toolbar on the top, the Object Studio has two additional buttons, Launch and Application Modeler. Finally, the last difference we see is that when we launched the Process Studio, it had only one tab which says Main Page and when we launched the Object Studio, it had three tabs, Initialize, Cleanup and Action 1. Now these tabs are called Pages in Blue Prism terminology. You will also notice that there is a stage called Page in the toolbox. When we create a business process in the Process Studio, we use pages to logically divide the entire process into smaller parts. For example, if we look at our last video where we created a process to find the grades and update it to Excel, we could have moved this part of finding the grades to another page called Find Grade and added a page stage to link it to the new page. This way, the main page would have been tidier than before. Additionally, if we wanted to find the grades again in some other part of the main page or even some other page that we may create, we can simply call this page by using the page stage and reference it to the find grades page. So in Process Studio, we use pages for two primary purposes. One, to keep the process tidier and understandable. Two, to reuse often repeated groups of stages. On the other hand, in the Object Studio, we use pages to create individual actions. Each page we create here will appear as an individual action in the action stage. So if we open the MS Excel VB object, you can see there are a lot of pages. Each of these pages is an individual action like create workbook, open workbook, create instance, etc. That is why if you look at the MS Excel VBO in the action stage in our process studio, you can see that each of this action is an individual page. Okay, so let's see how to create an object for the calculator application. Here we can see by default there are three pages, initialize, cleanup and action one. We don't have to worry about initialize and cleanup pages for now and these two pages will not show up as actions in the action stage. Action 1 is the first action created by default, so we will start creating the actions for the calculator application from here. But before we create any action, first we need to train Blue Prism how to open the calculator application, what are the different buttons and fields available, and what to do with those buttons. In other words, we need to train Blue Prism how to interact with this application. So we need to first create something called an application model for the calculator application. In order to do this, click the application modeler button and the application modeler wizard will pop up. We have got three options here. We will select the first option which is define a new application model. And by default, it took the name calculator which is the name we used to create the object initially. I'll click next and Blue Prism will ask you what type of application is it. Blue Prism allows you to work with four types of applications, Windows, Java based, browser based which is nothing but a web application and finally the mainframe application. Calculator is a Windows application so I'll leave it as Windows application and click next. Then it asks if my application is launched from an executable file or if my application will be running and I want to attach it to an existing instance. 
there are some applications which will be running in the background, for example, applications that load during Windows startup like Skype. So here Blue Prism is asking you if you want to use an already running application by attaching to it or do you want to launch it. We will use the first option, my application is launched from an executable file. Click next and here we need to provide the path of the application. So I will click browse, computer, C, windows, system 32 and select calc and click open. Then click next and I will leave the default settings for the next few screens and click finish. Now the application modeler is ready for us to build the application model. This window is broadly divided into two sections. On the left hand side it will list all the elements of the application and on the right hand side it will display the attributes of the elements. Now what do I mean by elements? Elements are basically the various buttons, fields, text and images and other controls on an application. So on the calculator application we have the number buttons from 0 to 9 and then the calculation buttons like plus, minus, divide, multiply etc. Each of these buttons is an individual element. So these elements will be displayed on the left hand side in a hierarchical tree structure. We will call it as the application element tree. The root of the tree is the application itself and that's why you see the calculator on the top and when I clicked it, it is showing the attributes of the application like the executable path, application name, etc. If I click the launch button, it will launch the application. Now let's create the first action which is launching the application. So I'll close this application modeler by clicking the OK button. Then I'll rename this action one as launch. I'll drag and drop a navigate stage. The navigate stage allows you to perform navigational actions like click buttons, open window, close window, launch applications, send keystrokes, etc. So I'll double click the navigate stage and you can see on the left hand side it will display the element tree and on the right hand side you can choose the actions. For now we want to launch the calculator application so I'll drag and drop calculator into the element field and if I click the action drop down I see there are different actions that can be performed on the calculator application. This list of actions will change according to the element type. We are getting this launch and terminate because the element we chose is an application itself. Obviously you will not see the launch and terminate options if you drag and drop some other element like a button or a text box field. But you may see other options like mouse click. Anyway we will select the launch action and for now we will not worry about the inputs. We will name this stage as launch and click OK. Now we will link the stages and close calculator. Click reset and run. The calculator application is launched successfully. Now let's see how to use it in the process studio. We'll first close this calculator and save the business object. And let us create a new process called calculator process. Click next. I'll enter the description as a process for calculator process and click finish. I'll double click the process, add an action stage and if I double click the action stage I can see that the calculator business object but if I click the action drop down I don't see the launch action. That is because though I created and saved the launch action there is one more step I missed which is publishing that action. So I'll close this window, go back to the object studio and if I right click on the launch tab I see an option called publish. I'll click that and save the object. Now you can see as soon as I published the launch page got a little icon here which represents that the action is published. There are two reasons why Blue Prism has given this publish functionality. 
one, you don't end up using an action that is currently under development. Two, you may want to create an action that you don't want to expose it to the process studio, but you want another published action to use this unpublished action as sort of a background process. All right, so now if I go back to the process studio, click the refresh button, and then if I double click the action and select calculator, I'll get the action launch. I'll click OK, link the stages, reset, and run. And the calculator opens up. Now I want you to note that the refresh button is different from the reset button. The reset button is used to reset the workflow while the refresh button will refresh the entire application and accommodate the changes we made. I just realized I have been using the word refresh in few of the previous videos where I was actually pressing the reset button. <laughs> okay, so in the next video, we will see how to spy the buttons of the calculator application and use them.